The first step in your dissertation is likely to be a literature search. And this will be for two reasons. One, because um, you will need to find a gap in the literature. You will need to become familiar with the area of research that you want to contribute towards. And so in that sense, it will be part of your research process. But it would also is likely to become a chapter in your dissertation, as we've discussed. Um, it's likely to become chapter two. And if you're conducting a theory dissertation, it is likely to be most of the content of your dissertation. When dealing with literature, it is too easy to simply just type in something in the computer that you want to look up, download an article and just save it as it is downloaded, maybe as a bunch of numbers or a name that doesn't make a lot of sense. It's also too easy to just make notes uh, out of something online and then not save the article correctly and then find it really hard to find it again. I've definitely done that and I've cursed myself for doing that many times and not being able to find articles that I needed later on. Another issue that seems to come up time and time again with my students is referencing. And what I mean by this is having a system to organise your references, but also to cite things correctly. Now, my top tips to deal with literature are Number one, storage. Think methodically about how you're going to save and also store your literature. My advice is that you create a folder or perhaps set of folders in which you save everything you read or that you think you will read. Now, that is just for two reasons. One, because that way you can keep track of everything you've read or everything you've taken notes from and you can find it really easily again if you need to. Uh, number two, which is maybe not so obvious, is that by organising your literature as you go along, it will also help you to make sense of it a bit more. So perhaps you want to organise it by themes or by eras or by authors. And that's part of understanding the area of research and also will be helpful when you come to write your literature review. Number two, file names. When you come to download or save and store your literature, it's important to think about file names because you don't want to end up with a bunch of files that don't mean anything and then you can't find the article you're looking for, for example. So my advice is think about a strategy to name those files and stick to it. For example, I tend to always save my articles in this format. I always do author, then I uh, do the year, and then I put the title of the article, and then I might add a keyword at the end. The reason why I do keywords is because it's very easy to then search uh, articles and, and, and find what I need to very quickly by just simply looking at the quick keywords that I've put at the end of the file name. And the third and final tip um, is referencing managers. Now, for those of you who have never used a referencing manager, it's simply a piece of software which you can use to save, organise um, and also cite your references. So many of them will have a plugin that you can use with Word and that will mean that say you're writing a sentence and you want to cite Jones 2015, you can just do that automatically and you know it will be done well in whichever, um, in whichever style you need to. So it might be Harvard or Chicago or maybe footnotes, whichever it is you need. And to summarise, my three top tips for dealing with literature are one, think about storage carefully, two, create a plan for your file names and stick to it, and three, start using referencing managers early on.